For all you that have been patiently waiting, here he is, Echo. I apologize, it's been a while. Been busy with work, but definitely the wait is worth it because now we'll be going over Arc Trooper Echo, the last one in the Star Wars, the Clone Wars War. Timeline. Box is pretty much the same, just like all the other ones. Only difference is, is obviously the name. Now to me, this is a premium price figure because look at all the different accessories you get. Two pistols, the rifle, the regular blaster, obviously a detachable helmet. Like you tell me to pay the 24, 99 for this, I'll give it to you all day. The other ones, meh, not so much, but obviously Hasbro got my money anyways. <laughs> but, well, like I said, this is Gonzo. This is, un this is the unboxing. And like always, please like, subscribe, share the video, share some comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And let me know uh, if you guys have it. All right, well, you know what we do on this show. Let's get him out of the box. And here he is out of his package. Let me tell you, he is just awesome. Super, superly awesome. Yes, I said it. I made up a word, superly. I didn't know, so that's cool. That little backpack he has here. It's not detachable, it's a, it's just fixed there, but awesome. And again, like I said, comes with a little blaster. Your typical blaster that pretty much almost every every clone has, and then his long rifle. Nicely detailed, all black pla molding, plastic. Yeah. So, one thing I would have to say is that he only comes with one pistol hand. This hand was a regular hand, but as you can tell, what I did was, I don't know if you can tell, but I took a razor and just pretty much slit, slit it down so that way he can grip it perfectly, which isn't too hard. Just be careful if you're going to do that. You don't want to cut too far deep where the plastic becomes flimsy and just rips off and you obviously don't want to cut yourself. All right, let's take a look at him himself. It's just awesome. Nice texture on the hair. Looks down pretty good. A uh, little restriction going up, but I'm sure it'll be a lot more with the hair, with the helmet on. It's got some decent tilt. Now, obviously, his movement up is going to be restricted because of his cauldron here. The same thing on this side, but for the most part, Looks like he gets it pretty high up there. No bicep swivel though, but we do have, I don't know, just the single elbow, rotating wrist. Yeah, like I said, you got in and out, rotating. Purchase the video is not supported. Please use the remote to complete your purchase. I apologize for that. My Lexus is going crazy. Same thing on this side. Obviously, he has a wrist up and down. He's got some pretty good crunch, especially since he's wearing all this utility bells in the pouches. Back. Mm. The back could be a little better because really it doesn't look like anything really is stopping it from crunching back more, but not bad. 
Man, the detail on this is awesome. His legs can also go up. You gotta turn it, go up a little bit higher. What's nice is it's nice and soft plastic, so. It would've been nice if that knee pad is free spinning, but it looks like it's casted and stuck right there. Looks like we got a swivel at the knees. Unfortunately, that knee pad does not, so it kind of looks weird when it's like that. Looks like he broke his kneecap. Obviously, your toe heel action. Not so much heel to the casting here. Pretty decent toe action, though. Yeah. Overall, very, I'm very happy. Enjoy it. And with the helmet... Here's the helmet. Nice detailing on his helmet. He even has a little range finder that comes down. Doo -doo -doo. So that's nice. Just had to bend it a little bit so it looks a little bit better. Looks like it was too close to the helmet itself. And then snapping on him. Here he is. Again, decent up looking. Actually, it looks, I don't know, maybe it's just the way the helmet's made, but it looks like he looks further up. Decent down. Okay, side to side. Obviously, the cauldron with the helmet stops a little bit of it. But you can get some good expressions. Man, look at the just the paint, pouches. Thoroughly enjoy this one. He's got to definitely be the one that was definitely the most after, most sought out for me. Let me know if you think the same way. And I like that. He's not holding his guns. So here, you can tell right there. I took a uh, razor and just split that apart. But again, just be careful. Don't go too far. What's nice is his pistols can fit right here in his pouch. So you know me. If you give me accessories, I love the figure even more when you give me places to store them when not being used. So there he is. And they stay in there pretty good. They don't look like they come out. So that way if I say I wanna get the rifle in there. This pistol's all nicely put away. Now here he is with his rifle. Here he is with the long rifle. Ooh. Pretty nice. So yeah, definitely love this figure. Super glad I found him. He's gotta be probably the last one I found he was a little harder to track down, but hey, got him. So there he is, people. There's Echo. Hopefully they uh, come out with a Bad Batch Echo. That'd be great. But until that happens, I will take a 501st Echo any day. So like always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We're always doing unboxings, We're trying to do toy hunts. Lately, there's really been nothing new on the shelves, so I'm not gonna show you guys, you know, same empty shelves all the time. But eventually, we'll get something going there. There's a new wave of G.I. Joes coming out. 
the next wave of Transformer Kingdom should be coming out. So a lot of things to look out for. And the Marvel Legends Super Villains is out. So there's stuff out there. So once they start coming in, we'll start hunting some more. So then we'll just do some more unboxings. Again, this is Gonzo. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about Echo. Let me know what you think about the channel. All right. You guys have a good day.